done. You can't, can't put the clock back. Hopefully you're on the outside. Some of you look a bit fitter than others, but you won't look at anyone in particular. Hopefully you're on the inside. None of us are fit for God's presence in the truth be known, because we've all sinned, we've fallen short of his perfect standard. The last question, you may not have thought about it, but I want you to think about this this afternoon. How fit are you? How fit are you for heaven? Oh, you think about, I'll think about that when I'm old, you know, I've got my life ahead of me, you say. Well, none of us know, actually, how long we've got, if the truth be known. A lot of people with, who've done surveys actually do believe in an afterlife. A lot of people believe in an afterlife. They may have different ideas, but I think most people would say, if there is a heaven, I want to be there. So I certainly don't want to be at the other place. But how fit are we for heaven? See, the Bible tells us that heaven is God's home. It's a perfect place. And it says nothing impure will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful. Have you ever done things that are impure or that you're ashamed of? I certainly have. So left to ourselves, we can never get to heaven. We're just not good enough. We're far from perfect. That's why God has provided a way for us to get right with him. What we can't do for ourselves, God has done for us. And God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Jesus. That whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. Jesus died on that cross as a punishment for the wrong things that we've done. He died for our sins. He was there in our place as the only way we could be forgiven. The Bible tells us that when Jesus died on that cross, he accomplished what God sent him to do. He died for human sin. And to prove that, he rose again from the dead. He's alive today and he can help you here in Pickering just as he helped people many years ago in Israel to get right with God. How do you get right with God? You have to turn away from everything you know in your life to be wrong. Thank Jesus for dying on the cross and say, Lord Jesus, I want you to come into my life to be my boss, my saviour. I've got a leaflet here and it's simply called Steps to God. If you'd like to know Jesus as a real and personal friend, then please take one of these from me. Thank you for listening. So what we do, because you're roughly in the same circle, we just go around a couple of times and we'll say thanks very much for listening. Now when the speaker, that's Robbie or myself today, says thanks so much for listening, that's not a cue to give us a round of applause, that's a cue to then seek to engage in one-to-one -one work. Because Will is going to uh, give out different leaflets, yeah? Um, and um, I want you to keep those leaflets on you, you don't look religious, just look ordinary, so you're mingling with the others. Um, so guys, you can put them in your pockets, and ladies in your bag, whatever. If you've got a New Testament, just put that in your bag, just look ordinary. And then, when the person has finished, then um, you can seek to engage in one to one. <coughs> and um, can I just give you one or two little tips, uh, hints? Um, I know you, you all love each other as Christians, but please do not talk to one another while the. It may be not inappropriate to, to have a little chat uh, when the person's painting up, but please, please don't speak to each other when the person's speaking. You wouldn't do that to. Uh, you go past this one morning, would you? Oh, well, well, he's giving you seven, so we're asking for the same. Um, if someone, as they may do, says, what's this about? You say, we can't say, I don't know, because that would be untrue, but you can just say, well, stick around, it looks interesting. I think he's going to do some of those boxes. Just, just try and get people interested. And afterwards, um, the best thing to do is to um, ask a W question. Excuse me, I'm actually with the person speaking. What did you think? about what you've just heard. How's that? Ask W questions, they're open-ended ones. And then take it from there, okay? Is that all right? I haven't come to give you lots and lots of tips on, on personal work, but, um, so that's,